Hello, Ryan here, aka Ari Wrath, and welcome. Today we are going to be getting on with a brand new series, a brand new Hero to Zero series, but this time it is going to be a hardcore series where I start without a functioning ship. Now, I wanted to set a bit more of a challenge. I've been putting this off time and time again, waiting for the Alpha, the PU, to get a bit more stable, and it 319 feels like it's at the point where we're okay. There is still an issue with 30Ks, so I'm hoping that's not going to hit me today. But I figured instead of just keep putting it off, waiting for it to get more stable, which being an alpha isn't going to happen anytime soon, to be fair. I figured I will just start the series, and if we come across a 30K, if we have any bugs or issues, as usual with my Zeroed Heroes, I will just show them, show what the issues are, show it off. I'm showing it in a, in a real state rather than try and cut it out and make it look as make it look better than it is. I do think 319 will be fine, but as I say, if it isn't, I will show it. I just wanted to get on with making this series. Now, this is very much different to the previous series, and there is a bit of a backstory to Ari Rath. Obviously, the, the first series I did, he was a resident of Art Corp. Let's go for a walk. Um... Which, he had a ship, he had things to do, but this time, he doesn't have a ship. And the story kind of goes that he, he had a grandfather who has passed away in Lawville. And he wasn't really that known, he didn't know him all that well, but his grandfather left him a cutter. He left him a spacesuit and a helmet or a flight suit and a helmet, and an arc light pistol. And that was, oh, and the apartment at Lawville, which Ari Rath has practically spent his last penny getting here from Art Corp. And he's decided to relocate and live a new life here in, uh, in Lawville. Now, the problem is, the cutter, as I will show you in a second, does not have any components, or weapons, or missiles. So, Ari's first job, really, is to earn enough money to eat, to drink. He is somewhat stuck at Lawville, or stuck on Hurston, because you can get out via the gates. But he uh, he needs to earn creds without a ship in order to purchase a power plant, a cooler, a shield generator, a quantum drive, and the weapons uh, for, the, for the vehicle as well. So I figured it would be kind of an interesting way of showing how you can take this role on to give yourself more of a challenge. I just wanted more of a challenge anyway, because as soon as you get a ship, there are many ways to make money very quickly. But really what I want to do is start off by hunting for the medical gowns, because they're worth 45 each. And anything else that's left around that people have dropped, or even just, just enough to get maybe uh, an armor set or a chest piece with... Um, a backpack, maybe a multi-tool with a tractor beam and a mining attachment because there is a cave about 30 kilometers from here that I can rent a cyclone for about 500. This is the plan, by the way. Rent a cyclone for 500. Make sure I have an, a chest piece, a backpack, uh, and a mining attachment with a tractor beam so that I can mine away, basically. Afternoon. And earn enough to get myself kitted out. Now, I will also be offering my services to strangers, to randoms. Seeing if they have a place for myself on board their ship. Be that salvaging or whatever. Um, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah, for now, I think the best bet is just to get looking around. Seeing if I can find any form of loot that I can take. Oh, there's a little Argo down there. And a little elevator with a forklift. But find any loot that I can. Medical gowns, sell them. Where'd it go? Okay. Uh, and just see what money I can make. I've got to eat. Uh, in fact, I'm quite thirsty now. I've got to eat. I've got to drink. I've got to do all that kind of stuff. To survive. And we'll see how this goes. Right now, I think we should go to the hangar. Check out the ship. See what my grandfather's left me. Uh, pick up the undersuit helmet and weapon so that I've got that on me um, and then yeah see what we can do but I'm very excited for this series and hopefully 319 will treat us 
gently. It keeps glitching back down again. It's a never mind. Uh, hopefully, it'll treat me nicely. But you know, it is Alpha still, so we'll see. Right, let me head to the hangars, take a look at this ship, see what we can do. Back in two. So, as mentioned, we have a Drake cutter, but unfortunately, it has seen better days. There are no components, apart from um, ones that I can't remove. Although I don't think there are many that I can't take out. There are no weapons, of course. And inside should just be an undersuit, a helmet, and an arc light pistol. All left by my grandfather. Let's just go and check this out. He must have been tinkering away on it. I don't know what he was up to. But we don't have a lot of gear. There. So we've got the arc light, we've got the undersuit and a helmet. What I will do is just store them now. So I'll start with the pistol if I can. So we do somewhat have... Oh, it's unavailable. Let me try it this way. Yeah, I'll put them into local. And then they're there for when I need them. But yeah, everything else we need to purchase. As you can hear, the quantum is making a quantum drive spooling sound, even though there is no quantum drive. Uh, and everything like the power plant, the coolers, the shields, we will ha and the weapons, of course, we will have to buy while running missions or doing whatever. Like the first, the first plan is to get a power plant and a cooler, which I cannot actually. What's going on here? Don't be 30k. Are we 30k? Oh, there we go. Which you can't run a power plant without a cooler. It doesn't run long enough for you to go anywhere or do anything. So we need both really to start off with. And then obviously weapons, shields are important. And we'll just have to do what we can do to earn the cash. Be that running with other people, with, with strangers, randoms. Mining, it's got a bit of damage as well. You can see there's a couple of dents here and there. Had a nasty knock that almost looks like an energy weapon. Maybe he was being chased, I don't know. But yeah, so quite a lot of work to do to get this up and running again, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I best close it. But nothing we can do with it at this time. And power plants, coolers, they're, they're quite, they can be quite pricey, so there's a lot to do to get it going. But that is the hardcore Zero to Hero, so that's why I did it. I wanted to give myself a bit of a challenge, see what we can do to get to the point of getting this flyable. Once it's flyable, I can do basic missions, but I can't do anything that's going to be too combat orientated because I won't have shields and I won't immediately have weapons, but I can loot ships, so hopefully I can... If I can just get established with a power plant and a cooler, however I do that, then the rest can probably just be looted. We'll see. Anyway, let me head back to port, or head back to, um, to Lawville, and see if we can start finding medical gowns or anything that we can make money. Bear with me. So, I've kind of struck it really lucky to start with, because on the way back to to the apartments area, to L19, just to search for medical gowns, that's all I was looking for, but I've stumbled upon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 10, 11, 12 helmets. These are all the same, the White Horizon helmets, the new ones that you get. Now, I don't know if these are worth anything, but I am going to chuck these in here and see if we can sell them. If I can't sell them, I'll just get rid of them. But they will hopefully, even if they're worth a couple of hundred each, we could be onto a winner here. This will get me started in getting equipment ready. Like backpack, small uh, or 
medium armor, maybe. Or small or light armor, we'll see. Oh, I just can't reach that one. But yeah, let's go and see how much I can get for these, as this will be a great starting point. Hopefully this guy who's just on my right now doesn't own them. Let's just pretend nothing happened. But I'm going to head back on the train, get back to uh, where I can sell these. Pick up any medical gowns en route. I hope that, hopefully they weren't his. And sell what we can, make as much money as we can as quick as possible, just to get myself a tractor beam, um, maybe a medical gun or a hemazal pen, a backpack, a mining attachment as well, anything I can do that'll help me. Because my plan is, as I say, to get to that cave and earn some creds. Anyway, join me in a sec. And again, stepping off the tram, we've just found ourselves... Oh, what's going on? Just found ourselves three more of these, so let me lob these in here as well. Hey, we're, we're actually getting very lucky to start with. And I'm doing the server a favour, you know, I'm clearing up the trash. Keeping Lawville as smooth and buttery as possible while making money. Not a lot of money, but... You know, I'm skinned, so I've got to take what I can get. So, let us head into Tamney and Sons. I always call it, call it Tamney. I don't know why. But let's see what we can sell here, because we have found... We have been very lucky in finding some loot. Let me just grab this bottle as well and see if we can sell that for anything. I don't think it's worth much, if at all. Maybe a one but we've got so many helmets i'm hoping these helmets are worth something otherwise i'm gonna do what that last person did and just dump them somewhere so sell from okay so oh they're worth 30 could be worse could be better so 45 per medical gown let's get these sold And there was a bit of a bug there, where it's it's cashing them in, but it's bringing them back into my inventory. Let me just check my inventory to see what I have left. So I've only got two left, and the bottle of water, so I won't sell any more than two, because I don't want to kind of exploit this. Even though they're there, I could probably sell them again, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to sell two more of these. And then that water bottle, see if that's worth anything. No. Well, I'll, I'll get rid of it anyway. Oh, it's, it's worth one. But it's it says zero. But yeah, there's a glitch where they're, they're remaining. Uh, and we don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to come out of there. Because in my inventory, these are all gone. And I... Hmm. I know I sold two. Let me just... Ooh, I don't know what to do. Let me try selling another one. I don't know if we're over selling these right now. I guess the server's just trying to keep up. Oh, I've got to pick the right one, haven't I? Let's sell the last one, see if that's the one that I needed to sell. Whoa, what the? Oh, man, that's not right, is it? I don't know what I've, what's happened here. They've all gone. I was at 571 plus 30, so you're looking at 601. Let me just try and amend this, because I think I have oversold. So I'll just pass this on to my... Well, we'll try and... Hang on, bear with me. There we go. So that's that's how much over I was. I was at 601. This is, uh, this is too much, so I'm going to send... Cost that much, which should put me back to where I was, which is 601. There we go. Definitely a bit of a glitch going on there with the components. What's he buying? Oh, he's looking to do some mining. Interesting. Let me just check to see if there's any... If they're still there. They are, but they're slowly being deleted. I think it's just the servers trying to catch up. But I've got to really... Oh, he's naked now. I've really got to keep tabs of that because I don't want it to... Like, fake too much money into my account. I don't want to use exploits... I want it to be as accurate as possible. Ooh, we could use some food and drink. So let me just 
Oh, look at him. He's really kitted out. Nice choice. Very nice. So let me just get a bottle of water and something to eat. And then we will continue looking to see if we can find anything else. But I have got to get myself to a... Um, oh, I can store that. To a place where we have enough money to rent. Or even... Oops, more info. Enough money to, to get myself a tractor beam. Which we, we are actually able to get a tractor beam and a mining attachment. But it's kind of pointless without having... I will get one though. It's kind of pointless having a, a mining attachment without having a backpack to mine. So, I don't know. What's the best... Oh, we've just paid for something, haven't we? Let me just see what's available. Check for chest piece torso. Okay, so it's all very much out of my price range. We're probably going to have to go PAB, which is light armor, which would mean a light backpack, which means I wouldn't be able to carry all that much in terms of mineables. But I think they're the cheapest. It would be better to loot this stuff. So maybe the best option is to start off with getting a multi-tool, first and foremost. For 480. Oh. Oh. I'm going to save it up in case I, I don't find much else and I need to eat and drink more. So I'm going to save that up. I'm also going to maximize my drink and food by not eating or drinking it yet. While I, I'm still fine. And just use it as, as little as possible. And keep scouring around, seeing what I can find. Offer my services, maybe. See if anyone's open to me running crew with them. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back if anything interesting happens. But for the time being, I'm going to be running around, living my life in Lawville. And seeing how much I can make. Fingers crossed we can... Uh, we can get something. Right, I'll be back in two. It's kind of fun acting as the janitor, trying to find uh, and clean up the, the town from all the scumbags dropping their gear around. It's a tough job though. It kind of feels like less than minimum wage, but I suppose that's Hurston for you. Looks like we've got a couple more medical gowns here. Now, talking of medical stuff, I can always... Uh, one thing I can do to make money is purchase a medical tool and use that to respond to medical beacons. I will need a ship to respond to medical beacons and preferably weapons and shields, like a full working ship. So it's not anything I can do straight away, but... Because sometimes they can be traps, you see. People can trap you into coming and helping them. But let's just see how much a medical tool is. I don't think I can sell these medical gowns here, which would make more sense, really, being able to sell them here than in clothing shops. Yeah, so you can't sell them here. Thankfully, all those things are off my account now. But this is what I mean, a paramed tool. It is 1.3 thousand so it's a bit expensive for the now but it's still a possibility when when things get a bit more established I do have a kind of a list going of what I need to get first and foremost in fact let me read that out to you now so multi-tool mining and tractor beam backpack chest armor sort of small one first then renting the Cyclone, it would be better to have some more ammunition for the arc light pistol as well, just in case we get into bother. Uh, and then a power plant and a cooler, because unfortunately we cannot buy a power plant and have the ship run properly, it will keep cutting out. So I think the best bet really is, although I can't do that today, because I, I need to come back at this because I haven't got enough time, but is to offer my services as crew. And just take a cut or take a payment for, you know, helping deliver stuff or move cargo around in a staff area. That's right, yeah, yeah. Reclaimer. 
or just be an extra hand looting weapons and components with with someone but I'll have to figure a way of putting that out there because some people can be super generous and I would rather it be a bit more realistic which I know doesn't really make sense but I don't want to have my first run making millions um, it seems a bit cheaty but we'll see we'll see how it goes once I put out a you know I'm open for business kind of thing that sounds wrong I don't mean it that way so just hit up the hospital seeing what I can find and sure, on each floor hang on, hours, I found another four medical gowns which is great should give me a bit more cash what are we at now six eight six hundred and eighty three so it should take us closer to the thousand it is night time at Lawville right now so it's probably not the best time to go venturing out at the gates seeing if I can find anything anyway um, I'm getting thirstier I'm getting hungrier I could always just come to the hospital get myself a bed lay on that bed and then get my hydration and nutritional levels increased look at this ninja it's two ninjas um rather than buying bottled water and, and food but i would rather do it this way because it just kind of feels a bit more like i'm living in the city rather than cheating a system almost uh but yeah i'm gonna go and sell these four see if i can pick up any more en route but that is pretty much day one Nonprofit medical facility dedicated to where we made, I'd say, just close, just shy of a thousand. Thanks to those helmets. I mean, if we hadn't found those, it would have been a different story altogether. But when I do come back, uh, I will certainly try and team up with someone. Oh, I'm going to go this way, actually. More chance of finding an undersuit or a, um, a medical gown compared to that way. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll try and put out word that I'm looking to team up with someone, you know, be an extra hand and see if anyone offers it up. Now, I, I obviously, I don't want to be asking my community, my, my stream community, you guys on YouTube. I don't want to be asking you for the help because it's, it's partly, this whole series is partly to show what you can do when you first start out. So when you first join the game, you won't know anyone. You won't have a community behind you. You may have a friend, or you may not. They might be online, they might not. So it kind of shows what you can do in a solo circumstance. Uh, well, not solo circumstance, but as you first step in, where you can hunt for these medical gowns and make money that way. But I do certainly want to be a part of a crew, and only for like an hour or two hours, run some errands for this crew, get myself out of Lawville, a bit of a break, uh, and, and then some proper cash, even if it's a few thousand here and there, just running, being a, you know, an odd job man. Just enough to get the equipment I need. Now, when it comes to the equipment I need, of course, there are multi-tools, there's the armor, there's backpacks, there's renting the cyclone. I have to think about what order to do that in, because I don't want to obviously rent a cyclone when I haven't got any tools to, to, to make, you know, to capitalize that, because I do plan to drive to the cave that is about 30 kilometers um, from from gate 6, I think it is, and see if I can get some mineables. That should at least give me a bit of a boost in terms of funds, but not by much because these hand mineables have been reduced in terms of their their value. So I've got four here. Let me just pay attention to make sure I'm not double selling these there we go so what have we got there is it 863 or is it a little bit more 863 so yeah not not too bad considering I I started with zero not great but obviously I haven't got a ship so the the challenge is definitely enjoyable uh, even heading to the gates of Lawville, I might be able to find a vehicle that I can jump into and take out of the armistice and somehow loot. I don't know how that's going to work. But what I do need is a multi-tool. 480 plus the attachments. So 480. I think, firstly, rather than buying a tractor beam, a mining attachment might be better off. But then if I bump into a ship 
that I can take some items off of. Like, even if I cannot... If, I, if I've got a Cyclone, I might be able to throw some items into the back of the Cyclone and drive them around. I don't know how well they'll sit there, but things like weapons will not work. Components will, though. And gimbals. I must always remember to take the gimbals because they are worth a decent amount. So this is worth 320, 340, plus the multi-tool. And then, you know, armor... Oh, it's gonna it's gonna take a while, but if I'm running crew with other people, that should be very interesting. But that's day one. Not the most profitable, but could have been worse. Let me sit next to this guy. And I will have something to drink and eat while I'm here. But no, very enjoyable so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the process. It is going to be a challenge trying to get this, just trying to get off ground, really. But I certainly think running crew with other members, other civilians, is, uh, is the best way to go. But that is episode one. Thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy this series or any of my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. And if you want to see more of a live zero to hero where we deal with the issues live and we try and make progress. I'm not doing a hardcore zero to hero on Twitch. It is just a generalized zero to hero, but do head over to twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. The link is below in the description. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. Does the channel a big favor. Tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Fingers crossed, episode two leads to much more wealth. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.